Hello, Vec fans. Mr. Idasiac has asked me to tell you about some exciting things we've got coming up on his channel from the 1st of December. So, tune in for 24 days of festive fun and games and locks and... Ooh, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Cut! Oh, Wacky Phone, stop looking at me, oh! Oh, it's that Henry thing. It's giving me evil. Oh, I'm trying to get this trailer done for some lovely things happening on our day's lap. Oh, see you soon. <laughs> Hello, back fans. Mr. Adesiak has asked me to interview. No, not interview. Oh, I've got it wrong again. Oh, Ecky Stone. Oh, you can see his finger. It's spoiled the illusion. Look, look. He's got a finger at me and he's making me mouth move. Eh! Oh, I can open my mouth that way. Look at that. Oh, oh come on, you the kids watching. Right, start again. I will. And stop looking at me, Henry. Oh, he's putting me up. <laughs> I can't do it. No. <laughs> now, calm yourself. I do to try and please the kids. Oh, good. Anyway, we're going to the pub after all this, I can tell you. Ooh, we'll have to get it right. That Mr. Ardaziac's looking cross. Right. Oh, hang on, let me get in this, let me get in position like this. Oh, right. Okay. Take 50. <sighs> Tune in from Thursday the 1st of December for the first of Ardaziac special Advent Videos. Oh, it was going so well, love. Oh, you put me off, Henry, and I'm out of focus. Stop focusing on Henry, it's me. I'm the main attraction. Oh, God. Hello, back fans. <coughs> Mr. Ibasiak has asked me to tell you about something very exciting happening on his channel from the 1st of December. Yes, from the 1st of December, there are days of the first Oh, hello everyone. Hello, hello, I'm here. Thought I'd have a little chat. Just been watching, I can't do it at home. It's not, you're not supposed to watch your own videos at home, you see. I'm at my mother's. I don't have this wallpaper or this awful telly. Um, so I've just been reliving some of my very old videos and remembering vacuums that I'd forgotten. I mean, I think I'm a lot better at making videos than I was. There's some really bad stinkers. Oh, crikey, look, there's me. I hope I don't get a copyright strike on my own channel. Hopefully I'll be doing some more. Oh, crikey, look at that. Oh, look, there's Molly and Daisy. Hopefully, um, I'm, I'm hoping, don't, don't bank on it, folks, but I am planning to do the Advent series this year. 24 videos. Oh, crikey. If I've got time, I'm hoping to do it. I've got plans to do it. I've already written down 15 ideas. I've got 15 days of ideas planned. Also, I'll be doing Advent videos on my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings. Oh, I haven't got that. Uh, oh, yes, I gave that uh, jump to my partner. It was a bit big for me. Yes, I'll be putting that tree up. We don't have, yes, we don't have that. Where's that lamp? That lamp's horrible. Don't have that lamp anymore. Oh, dearie me. 
I've been here at my mum's making vacuum videos for you all. Don't forget, vacuum of the month will be happening on the 1st. I've got Henry here. Hang on, there he is. Can you see him? Henry, quick. On, its, uh, on his first bag. I've not opened the bag. It's been used for a month nearly with the same bag. So I'll be splitting that bag open. You'll be able to see all my detritus. I don't know what I'm going on about here in this video. There was a shot of me looking very young. You see, I've been at this vacuum game longer than most folks. Eight, oh, look there. Look, that's me with hair, look. <laughs> I've got I did have hair once. Honestly, I did. That's me, look. I got to Hoover yesterday. I was quite chuffed about it. I went to the uh, second-hand shop where I get Hoovers from. Uh, saw this Hoover Junior with a hard dust bag, and I've wanted one for a while. And this old codger was eyeing it up alongside a Hoover Turbo Power that happened to be on sale. So he's looking at it, and I was thinking, "Don't you buy it, you bastard!" Oh, I do apologise. So oh, sorry off. about that, so, folks. Uh, I don't sure swear. Much better, um, well, let's just let's get to the vacuum. You don't want to see that. Oh, there it is. I sold that the vacuum I'm showing, but. I did get another one years later. The, not off, not add it off. The camera, I nearly had it over because the wire is round to be tripod. And that's not a pretty sight. I'll just have to disconnect the uh, thingy bob so you'll Crikey, see. Crikey, are those white pretty jeans? Short. One should never white, wear white jeans, folks, especially when it's your time of the month. Hoping and I think it was there. I was retaining water. Oh, and drinking dandelion and burdock. Look at that hardbag junior. I've got, yes, I have got that again, but not that particular one. That would have been a bit of a, that would have been a bit of a coincidence if I'd managed to get. Oh, I must be recording this on a Saturday because it's Challenge Annika's on, followed by Birds of a Feather. This must be, I don't know when this is from. Early 90s, possibly. Early 90s or late 80s. I don't know when Challenge Annika... Oh, no, I think it's early 90s. Yeah. Well, I've been down that way, haven't I? Have I been that down? Yes, I've been that way. We've been that way before. Anyway, I've... um. Yes, been making videos. Oh, there's Santa. It's a bit of a mess. Oh, well, it's not too, well, it's not too bad. Hello, Molly, this is Molly Moo. Oh, you're not wanting to go out again. Oh, hang on a minute, folks. Molly wants to go out again, probably to eat some poo. We don't see Molly often, do we, on the videos? She hides. I've been editing here and filming myself editing for my other channel. Yes, it's a bit odd. And that's Daisy. Oh, look, you're so pretty. And we've got more dogs. More dogs. That's a very old dog. That's Millie. Mm. Senile she is. And then we've got Evie. Evie PV Lemon Squeezy. Evils. And this is the newest doggy. He's called, what are you called? Harry. Hello, Harry. Hello, are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? Hey? Oh, he's a hurry bow. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Oh, another vacuum. It's just vacuums galore. Oh, what's in? I don't think there's any vacuums in there. Oh, yes, there is. There's a Hetty Extend. How many more Hetty's has, has there got to be? That's so yet another different Hetty. They're all the same, folks. They're all the same. Uh, here's, here's Henry. Vacuum of the month. He's full to bursting almost. <laughs> Do 
is smelling a bit. I mean, it's a mixture of dirt and that air freshener. And I think the dirt smells winning at the moment. Well, hang on. Oh, you've finished, have you? Right, let's... Do, 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 do. Ah. Right then. Oh, right, let's show you the washer because there'll be people saying, What? Can I see the washing machine? Can I see it? It's just the same. Oh, look, some more vacuums. Oops, sorry about that. Oh. Lots of appliances that I've bought for my mother. You can't see it, but there's another appliance. I keep meaning to sell that one. I've, it's not the one I had, it's another one. And then that's a carpet washer for cleaning up dog pee. And then that floor washer for cleaning up dog pee. And then this Sibo Felix, which is a very vintage appliance now. Still works, of course. And here's the washing machine that means the end, the end of wash day. Wash day, just forget it. Choose your program. Anyone of eight. Choose the fabric on the Hoover key plate. Press so, presto, that's the end, the end of wash day. Well, it's not the end of wash day, and it's not even a Hoover. It's one of those awful Miele things. Cheap tat. Give me an indesit washer any day over that rubbish. You can tell I've been on my own for quite some time. Right. Uh, you're not going out again, Molly Moo. I don't know what you think you're looking at. Oh, I don't, oh, I'm going to show you upstairs, I know. I shouldn't be showing you. I've got 54 folk looking at my mess. It'll all be tidied up when Mummy comes home. I can give you a sneak peek. This is behind the scenes. This is real behind the scenes at Ibasiak. It's not very bright in here with those lights. Here's two of my studio lights, folks. I've been making videos in here because it's a nice big space and I can chuck a load of dirt down. There's Georgie. Georgie Porgie. He's going to be cleaning the stairs later, isn't he? Aren't you? Yes, you are. And here's a, a bagged shark, copycat shark. It's not a shark, but it's a bagged um, Rackmaster Capture. If you're watching this in America, you'll know that. Under the Kenmore brand, it's the same. And this is my latest shark. Whoops, I nearly went A over T then. I paid for this. Oh, yes. No more freebies from shark for Roger. Uh, how do you do? Well, it's not bad, actually. Um, it's the new Strat Horse. It's got that little air freshener thingy, which does work. And, um, oh, I won't show you my slippers. They're a bit embarrassing. Turn it on here, look. <laughs> so the um, Clean Sense IQ works very well. It does smell nice, that thing. Um, it's not a new idea, obviously. Hoover did it in 92 with the Turbo Power 2 with Auto Sense, but yeah, this is the little new doodah. Hang on, how do you. That's it. The fragrance thing. It's supposed to last six months. There we go. So that's going to be coming up on my channel. What else? I've got to be careful what I'm showing you. Such a mess. You can tell I'm on my own. Oh dear, this is a mess, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. Oh, it's not, well, it's not as bad as it was. Um, I've, I've uh, been filming. That's just some packaging I've just thrown down from the loft to take home with me. I've been doing this um, Bissell, this thing, this Bissell uh, thing here. If you remember that um, Hot Point, I did a Hot Point bagless, very similar, probably made in the same Chinese factory. Look at that though, my mum will be mental if she knows what I've done. This is all my mother's skin. Some of it is her skin and some of it's fluff. 
she had she's she got a new bed and mattress and the uh, her old bed came into this room so i vacuumed it this morning and uh couldn't believe what i've been sleeping on we'll go up in the vacuum loft shall we let's hope we can still get a signal all the way up here this might be exciting uh, do -do -do. let's hope i don't fall it's going to be dark so if you're scared of the dark turn away now oh there we go i hope you can all hear me i'll try and look at your comments in a minute that's one light Ta -da! two lights it's a mixture up here a mixture of playmobile lego and vacuum cleaners let's just uh, get get on the safe bit Oh, hiya! Right. Oh, so I've got some. Uh, that's got a Hoover Junior Deluxe. That's not the one I've shown you on my channel. It's another one. And then behind that is a a Hoover High Power Compact Exclusive. And then, and that's not the Turbo Power Boost I've shown you on my channel. I don't know if I've shown you the video for that. That's much whiter. I got one that was very yellowed, but that one um, much whiter, as you can see. But I don't think you've seen that video yet. And my earlier vax with the white hose. And uh, my pretty poor constellation. A vax gator. Another vax there. Some G-Tech that I haven't made videos of yet. A Dysoon Omniglide that I haven't made a video of yet. Um, you won't see much because most of this is behind everything and it's such a doodah. There's some Miele bag, oh it's an Miele turbo nozzle for my new in the box Miele that looks like that. I came up here to choose vacuum of the month for November. I think I've chosen it but I'm in two minds. There's my Hoover Iron, recently featured. Uh, that's George's box. Oh, I need, actually I need to get the wand and floor tool out that because I'm going to give my mum's kitchen floor a good scrubbing. There's a, a Bosch cordless there that I haven't made a video of, I haven't unboxed it yet. That's an old blast from the past. The Electrolux power system. Uh, well, I don't think we can see much more in here because, you know, there's Lego. I've got about, I don't know, I've probably got four of those satellites. Oh, it's ironic that there's a constellation on top of the satellite. I've got another one of those coming. I've got another one on eBay. I think the top is in better condition than that one. Anyway, out of the two, I'm going to cobble together a decent one, hopefully. Oh, there's more Hoover stuff. It's just, there's another Hoover constellation in that box. A dirty devil. That's my Electrolux Professional Wide Track. I showed you on the Rug Doctor cleaning video recently. Um, oh, I've got dozens and dozens of those toolkits, those U1912 Turbo Power. And that's a junior, new junior, newer junior toolkit there. Uh, some more Lego and Playmobil. Uh, my Turbo Light or Elite if you're watching in the United States. An old Pure Power that my mum used to use in her old house. Uh, a Vax Auto Mop. All sorts of things. Oh, there's a, a Hoover Centertronic System 5 there I just got this week. I've made the video. Here's a Curio for you. You may not have seen one of these. I can't get it to work at the moment. Look at that. What is it? Looks like a bookshelf speaker. A bookshelf speaker made by Hoover. Can it be true? This is, oh yeah, look. That'll give you a clue. Armed test off extras. Where's my Oric? in a pile underneath a load of other rubbishy vacuums. Now it's at home, the Oric. 
Yes, I've got vacuums everywhere, folks. I've got them in here in my mother's loft. I've got them in a storage unit. So I've got them in my garage and I've got them in my loft as well. It's absolutely ridiculous. So here's some new Lego. Just got this. I don't think I'll ever assemble it. It'll be worth hundreds one day if we all live to survive what's going on in this nasty world of ours. Right, let's have a look. You can look at, I'll just give you something nice to look at. Obviously I'm not showing my face because <laughs> I've not got my makeup on. Oh, I think you've yellowed a bit, haven't you? But uh, you're not too bad. Come on you, come and show your face. Let the people see something a bit more attractive than what have you? Little selection. There's some lovely, lovely cleaners. This is a lovely cleaner. This one's very lovely. You haven't seen this yet. Sneak peek. Hang on. Oh, you're not seeing anything decent yet. Don't worry. I'll, uh, I'll adjust everything. Hang on. Oh, let's move Sonic the Hedgehog. And put this beautiful, beautiful. Well, you'll have seen that if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Oh, you can't see what I'm telling you about. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, oh, it's a little bit cold up here, but we're not allowed the heating on. Can't afford heating. There we go, look. Look. Several generations of Hoover Cleaner. I think that could be 70s. Mm, I think we could be into the 90s with that one, and that's 80s. Well, that's 1980. I, I remember dating that in the video, 1980. And that will be, I think that's early 90s. The Turbo Power Boost. And yes, I think you're late 70s, aren't you? Junior Deluxe. Very lovely, lovely, lovely Hoover Cleaners. For versatile around the home cleaning. Right, let's see what you've been saying about me. We have Teresa, I see in the chat, my one of my moderators, so you behave, or Teresa, she's very easy to block folks. She likes to block people, does Teresa. So you mind your P's and Q's. Oh, somebody's given me two pounds. Thank you very much. I'll um, find out later. It just says it at the top. Right. Dee dee dee. Oh dear, Teresa, you've been busy. Hello, Dyson Hunter. Hi, you are, you are the best. You are my fat hot YouTube, fat hot, fat hot. I'm not that fat. You are my fat hot YouTube ever since I was five. I think you may mean favorite. Thank you very much anyway. Oh, Mr. Retro Tech has that TV. It's rubbish, isn't it? I wouldn't have chosen it. Very tinny sounding. Vacuum God 2000, well, I'm sorry, Vacuum God 2005, there is only one God, and it's certainly not you. I don't think it would be you. Well, that would explain a lot if God is into vacuums. Um, dee -dee -dee. How old am I now? Um, uh, let me think, what's it? I'm a, I'm a little bit older than my teeth, and I don't know what this proper thing is. Mind your own business, how old do you think I am? Well, I'll be looking for the comment <laughs> and uh, blocking you, I'm sure. Um, right, hang on a minute. Lost the lost the space again. Look, lost. Oh, Daisy, stop! Oh, Daisy's creating. Right, hang on, I've just lost all your... Th oh, it's Alan B. Thank you very much, Alan, for the two pounds. If Roger was posh, his title would be Master Bates. Well, that was a myth. If you're talking about Captain Pugwash, he was called Master Mates. You look at the old Captain Pugwash and you'll see. And it wasn't Roger the cabin boy either. That's an urban myth. Anyway, we've got to keep it clean. Keep it clean on this channel, as we'd like to keep everything clean. Somebody commented today that I should be nowhere near a cleaning appliance because um, I didn't linger long enough when I was demonstrating a steam cleaner. He, he said, do you, do you know nothing about physics? You should not be anywhere near a cleaning appliance. I just responded. 
I said, I bet my home is cleaner than yours, ducky. That's all I said. I haven't, I haven't got any comeback yet, but I'm sure there will be. I normally block them, but I thought I'd, um, I'd feed the troll. Occasionally I do feed the troll. It's fun. Right, hang on a minute. Keep losing. Stop commenting, folks. I, I'm getting... I'm trying to go back and you keep saying things and then it's... I'm never going to get caught up, am I? And we'll be here scrolling down. I hope you can all hear me anyway. Properly. There we go. Right, I think I'm getting up to speed now. La 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 la. Uh, this is Audrey Forbes Hamilton from Grantley Manor. Uh, must get some new specs. Thought Dyson Hunter was declaring you to, well, my father, no, I don't think Dyson Hunter is my father. My father is long, long, long gone, I'm afraid. He's with me in spirit. He might be with me in this loft, I don't know. I've had a few, I've had a few spooky sort of things out the corner of my eye. My eye. I've been al alone this week in this house and there's been a couple of occasions where there's no dogs where I've seen these things, but I'm thinking, Dad, are you watching? I said, well, if it's not me, Dad, go away, because I'm not doing anything interesting. One doesn't want to think that we're being watched all the time. Oh, Daisy! I can't shout, she's deaf. Daisy's barking. Um, yes, I don't, I, one wouldn't want to think the spirits are watching us while we're on the toilet. Right. Okay, I think I'm really... Dee -dee -dee. Oh, Teresa, you are busy. Yes, this is my mum's house, Vacuum God. Um, can I see? Oh, it's too late, Frog. You can't see the consumer unit. I don't know, Tyler Crim, why you were putting the time out. I haven't. It's my moderator. You must have been naughty. Or, um, hello, Connor Bevans. Hi there, Roger. I am a very passionate American viewer. This is my first time on a stream of yours. Well, welcome. I don't do that many. Video camera by bed? Don't think there was, was there? I don't video anything like that. Hi, Kathy W. Well, I'm not going to repeat that, Alan B. I'm sure you can record. Michael's asked, am I getting the shark stratos? Well, that was obviously earlier when I showed that I've got a shark stratos. Oh, I don't do Halloween Nathan productions, no. I don't celebrate the devil's birthday. No, no, no. I'll be hiding in the back with all the lights off tomorrow night. Laundry in the North Pole. Gosh, how do you hang out your washing? You must have a tumbled dryer. Been wondering, by the way, how's your lovely Mila washer doing? Hope it's lived up to the hype for you. Are you going to film some cycles on it? Because we didn't see much of your AG. Well, I ha did record more of the AG. I have got in the, you know, in my archives, just not videoed, not um, edited them. The Mila washer's been fine until a couple of days ago when it refused to spin one item and I got very upset with it and nearly put a hammer through its porthole. But fortunately, it did eventually spin. It was my fault. It was a bit unbalanced, but it's the first time it's done it. Yes, that is a Hoover burglar alarm. That, uh, that up there. It's a Hoover burglar alarm. Uh, my grandfather is considering buying a Dyson stick. Is the V8 perhaps a good machine? Now, I think I've just recently bought a later V8, um, which was on offer for 230 which was a good value. It's okay, you know, if, if it's around £230 on offer, then they're worth going for. Um, have I got the Lego Mario starter course? Yes, I have, actually. How funny. Where is it? It's up here. I've just put it up here today. And I'll tell you... Oh, here it is. And I've only got this because I've got somewhere the uh, Lego um, Nintendo system thing. Um, you know, with the TV. And apparently, if you have the little interactive Mario, he can interact with it somehow. So that's the only reason I got that. And I got that because... It was from Very, and it was on offer and I also got discounts so 
it was quite a good price. Same with the Sonic. I got that on a discount. Um, I think they're about £60 normally that, and I probably paid 42 Right. Um, well, I can't be too long on this stream because my battery will run down. I was five out. I was doing a five hour live stream earlier this week on my other channel. Five hours. Can you believe I could talk for five hours? I was mainly answering questions, of course. Oh, Daisy. I'm going to have to go down and get that Daisy May. Do I have Bissell up there? No, not up here. Not many Bissells left. Da, 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 da. Oh yes, well I've answered how much the Sonic Lego was. 40 something. Um, you're not that late vacuum uh, collector. I haven't been on that long. And Sarah's late. Well, I never tell anyone I'm doing it, so you're, you're forgiven for being late. I just suddenly decide to do them, you know. Hello, noisy boy. Um, hey, Roger, I was wondering if you have any computers in the 1980s. If yes, perhaps the ZX Spectrum. No, I... Well, I'll tell you, my first computer that I ever had was a ZX81. But the first... Um, well, the second computer, which I still have, the original... I didn't rebuy it on eBay. It's my, my original... Acorn Electron with many, many games. I plan to show that at some point on my other channel. Um, and then I've got other consoles, you know, got uh, Mega Drive, Sega Saturn. Um, I don't think I've got any Nintendo's. I've got a lot of those mini, those retro mini consoles as well, you know, the PlayStation and the, the uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo mini console. And the, uh, oh, you know, all those ones that came out. Right. Um, where can you buy a make tag satellite? Asked Max. Well, they were on eBay. They've been on eBay for a long time. I mean, that one, I've I bought another one there, but that wasn't that long ago. You might have sold out now. There was one seller, I think it was called Valentino, when I originally got mine. He was selling them one at a time and then someone else came up fairly recently so just check eBay I mean it'll be a, I'd have I did sell one of mine a while back but I think I'll keep them for now just trying to see every time I say something I lose the uh, the chat you see oh Daisy Steve Robinson, thanks for your help. Your show has helped me repair my Electrolux X100. Really? Not sure how. Yes, Scott Martin, I have seen the pneumatic carpet shampoo. In fact, oh look, isn't that funny? This is the, um, it's probably the same as that, but, um, but they've put it in a new bottle, haven't they? I've noticed that, it seems quite expensive. I never use it, as you can see. I always use uh, Bissell or Vax stuff or something else in it. Well, I've got lots of Sibos, Thomas. Sibo is my favourite modern brand. Hoover is my favourite vintage brand. My favourite pneumatic cleaner, mm, possibly Henry Hound, really, with the electric power head. Uh, what's my favourite cordless so far? <sighs> well, it's not the it's not Henry Quick. Henry, I like the Henry Quick because of the bag and stuff, and he's still picking up with a full bag. Um, it's just a bit whiny, especially the power head. It's uh, a bit high pitch. The power head needs improvement on Henry Quick. It could do with being a bit wider. And it's not very good on floors. It's a bit scrapey on floors. I'll be telling you all this, good and bad, in my uh, video on the 1st of November. Um, I don't really think I've got... I mean, I quite like the full, the VB100, but that's a silly price. 
There was a new one out. I don't think it's in the UK yet, but that'll probably be about 800 quid or something. Um, but the Shark Stratos, I've just been playing with it, the, the new one, seems fairly good. But, you know, it is brand new. And But all those are saying that my mum has one that I gave a few years back and it's still working. I mean, it's looking battered and it does get a bit of a clean up from time to time from me. And she washes the filters a lot. So, but that still works. Um, but yeah, they do look, a, you know, they're all very nice when they're brand new. But um, I do like the Stratos so far. I've not actually picked up any demo dirt with it yet, but it seems pretty nice and it's, it seems pretty solid. It doesn't uh, creak and groan as you're pushing it like some do. Hello Elfin Knight. What do you think is the best cordless cleaner that Dyson man... Well, my favourite, I don't know if it's the best, but my favourite, as I explained in the video, was the uh, V12 Slim. It's the best one I've used. Well, it's the one I prefer to the others anyway. A laundry in the North Pole does have a tumble dryer. That's good. Lee's Vax. Hello. I just... Oh, Daisy. I don't know if you can hear her barking. Hello. I've just finished recording a video with a Curstar anti-pneumatic and the suppressor blew up and I captured it on video. It wasn't a very exciting blow up kind, but it just popped. Yes, well, it's always... Uh, a worry when I switch on an old appliance if it's going to go bang. It's a bit worried with the Hoover Sensotronic that uh, I unboxed this week, but it kept going. De -de -de -de. Teresa says, Have you started collecting the Lego Winter Village sets? Yes, the one for this year's adorable Holiday Main Street. Yes, I've just bought that, Teresa, <laughs> but I've also got most of the others you know, from previous years. Um, there's probably a couple in here. I've got the, the home, Santa's Visit. It's, I've seen it today and I've got the gingerbread house and the elf thing um, and a lot of the early, earlier ones, but I, pray, I paid a pretty penny for those because I didn't buy them when they were out. I've got all my Hoover concepts. In fact, there's a new Hoover concept coming up on uh, whenever you're having um, Thanksgiving. I can't remember the date. I do know when it is, but I can't remember it off my head. But there's one scheduled that I've bought recently. Um, so that will make, uh, I'll have four, three concept ones and one concept two. So um, yes, you'll be seeing one in November, another concept imported wasn't all well no i won't say anything you can wait for the video what do i think of old vax vacuums well the old ones the made in britain ones i like them for the for nostalgic reasons and they were the sort of the first domestic sort of vacuum that washes the new ones are absolute i won't say a rude word poo poo Oh, thank you, Mad Watermelon, is it, for the £2.49? I don't know what I'll buy with it, but thank you very much. Um, Laundry in the North Pole got his username from a joke from Brandon, a.k.a. Florence Ballard, A3060, because his nickname for me is the North Pole. Oh, that sounds a bit rude. Um, oh, Louis, Louise, um, love following you. Oh, my other channel is called Roger's Bits and Doings, where I'm doing all sorts of different things that aren't, well, vacuums crop in occasionally, you know, they always creep in. But I do vlogs and review stuff that aren't vacuum cleaners. If you go onto my main page, my main YouTube channel, There'll be a bit that says other channels. I'm just going to have to scream at Daisy. Just hold on. No, she won't hear me. She's deaf. Uh, I'm going to have to go, folks. Well, I'm not going. I'm going to have to leave the loft. The loft of vacuums. Goodbye, you lovely, lovely hoovers. Oh, they look so lovely. Right, I'm going to go and get my Daisy and uh, do bad things to her because she's a naughty girl. 
She thinks I think she she thinks I've gone to bed. I think, and she's she's wondering, well, why aren't I in bed? Because I have I have Daisy in my bed. I know it's sick, but well, we don't do anything. She just lies there. But... <laughs> oh, don't fall, Rog. Don't fall off your telescopic ladder. Ooh, where's that other vacuum? I was oh there. Oh yes. Oh, is it plugged in? Oh, I can do a, a live demo. Oh, right. Hang on. I'll just quickly another messy room. Um, headphone users beware. These are more things. Oh, look, there's that Samsung you've just seen. Gonna sell that. Um, it's an AEG you haven't seen. I'll be selling that. There's a Bosch you haven't seen yet. I'll be selling that. Look, blast from the past. Look. Ooh, look at that, folks. A Maytag wind tunnel. Or oh, it's a Hoover wind tunnel, really. Oh, Daisy May. Made in the US of A. Oh, actually, I better not switch it on for long because I don't know what time it is and my neighbours, well, my mother's neighbours. I'll just do it briefly. Yes, this was one of the few Maytag cleaners we got in the United Kingdom of Great Britain. And... Uh, Daisy! Oh, she's gonna get such a smacked bot bot. Um, yes, here is, um, it's translucent. I don't know if you can quite see. It's a bit see-through. And uh, I'm using a, a different, uh, it fits nice and neat. It's a bit big, the bag. But look, it's, uh, it's see-through, folks. Oh, that's not, I was going to say, it shouldn't be putting... I don't think I've cleaned it properly. I'm just going to go and um, kill Daisy. So there's the uh, Maytag. Oh, Daisy. And there's a Aaga. And I'm going to go to Daisy May. And we're going to... Just shut your noise up. Oh, yes. Oh, you run off now after creating all that mess and all that noise, I mean. You naughty little thing. Look at the dirt on that carpet. Every time I come here, I shampoo that. Don't know what, what happens. Stop it, you naughty thing. What do you think? You are naughty. I'm going to have to go in here now. Hang on, let me turn the light off. Can't have all these lights on with Mummy's electric bill. Oh, shut up, Daisy May. What have you been doing, you naughty boy? Are you a naughty boy? And why has the chair gone round like that? What have you been up to, Molly? Oh, you are naughty. These dogs. Right. Oh, let's sit down then. Right. Oh, what's that dead animal there? Right, sorry folks, I'll get back to your comments. Let me just put you down while I lift this annoying little dog up. Right, sit there. Ooh, look, some doggy action. Get him. Right, oh, Daisy's sitting there, are you? Right, look. I know they're horrible, but they're warm. We're not allowed the heating on, and they've got a slanket if it gets really cold. We can't afford to put heating on in the UK at the moment. I've had to uh, ration the number of times to turn the vacuum on as well. It's awful. Oh, now I can hear another dog creating. Oh, Evie! Right, that's Daisy's sat there, look. In between my legs. Um, well, I might do a performance, Mad Watermelon, of the Hoover Turbo Light. I mean, I've been looking through some old videos while I've been here, and I've sort of seen vid uh, vacuums I've forgotten I had. There's a Vax one, which I've still got, which is one I don't think I want to get rid of. Uh, is it a VX, VX3 or VX2? It's a very unusual looking Vax upright in purple. And I was watching the video of that and thinking, oh, that is unusual. I must get that out again one day, and I will do. When I'm sorted, I'm going to redo a lot of the older videos, you know, in 4K, um, with better editing skills and better um, microphone and all that, you know. Connor Bevins, what got you interested in the vacuum cleaner hobby? I had no idea I was 18 months old. Hang on a minute, you can't have no peace. I've absolutely no peace. 
What? Oh, you just get down there and sit in here. Oh, so naughty. You can put something on in the background. Yes, yeah, so I've been looking at uh, some old videos and oh heck, of course I've got to lift up Daisy. Don't get dogs, folks. Come here. Ah. Now sit there. You see, we've got we've got wood. We've got wood and there's kindling. I can't I can't light it. I can't light it. My mum's got uh, quite a big stock of wood though, so she'll be okay, hopefully. But um Oh look at that. You see it's I haven't seen a lot of these videos for years and years because I, I don't watch them. You know, I do watch them once before you see them on my telly at home, on my big screen, just to make sure it's okay. Oh, there's me. Oh, there's me. Look. Oh, let's see me at, me at what was I? 20. Me at 20 years old. Have you seen this one, folks? Where is it? I thought it was on, on this list here. Oh, I've got a lot of vacuums. I haven't got every single one still, but I've st looking through this quick list. I mean, well, I don't have that AEG Autotronic anymore. I do have that Electrolux. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, I've got that Telios. I don't have that Bissell Power Glide lift off. I've still got that Hoover Eco G Turbo Power. It's quite good. And the Globe. There's that Maytag. I don't have that rubbish Vax Dual Power. That was appalling. Oh, I sold that Miele Unique. Wish I hadn't sold that one. Where's me? I, was, I thought there was me. Me at 20 years old. There it is. Excited. Only 7.1k views. Who's not seen me at 20? Opening a talking Sensotronic, which I foolishly sold. Other be ads, I expect. Yes, there is. Been a lot of Barker and Stonehouse ads in front of my videos of late. Stop commenting, folks, otherwise I'll never get caught up because I'll come back to your comments. But if you keep commenting, well, I won't be able to. Well, I'll skip ads quick. Skip. Don't you skip the ads, of course, folks, because... There's my Sasha. I love that shirt. And look at those pleated jeans. That is on my 20th birthday, folks. I bought myself that. Hoover Sensotronic Audio System 300. Rare as hen's teeth. Foolishly sold it. What a fool I was. And what a tiny little waist I have there, too. This is recorded on one of those old-fashioned VHS camcorders, those big things that used to, uh, used to wear on your shoulder. Oh, I'm all so, I have a feeling, folks, I don't know if I'm correct, this could be one of the earliest unboxing videos ever who else would be recording unboxing a vacuum in 1989 pushing the dogs out of the way no fitted plug you see oh look at that i can still no it weighs a ton rog i can still remember the excitement of opening that cleaner up because i've never seen it in real life before I, I ordered it for delivery on my birthday. And that was made in France when Hoover was a de still a decent company back then. Now Chinese owned, Chinese made. And not the Hoover that I knew and loved. And yes, I saw a little bit of uh, a rust spot on that or something. Not very good for a brand new machine. Yes, I was putting the wrong doodah on. 
obviously not really developed any camera technique at that stage. Look, I've got, look at that on my head. What's that? Yes, I think I've got paint on that shirt and got rid of it, but it was a lovely Western style shirt. There we are. There's my new talking sensatronic. And it looks bloody beautiful. Oh, I said the B word. I'm terribly sorry. Right then, Sue, I'm just going to have a little play with this, read the instruction book, and when I've got it talking, I'll come back to you. So see you later. Now this, I'm talking to my, I made this videos to my pen pal, Sue, and I made, um, I used to make her a tape a year or so, and just do silly things on it, which is why there's that footage, and there's other, we've got other footage as well. But, um... Now that was a very, that was quite an early, yeah, nine years ago. So that was one of my earlier, this one here was a very early video. If you see, I bet there'll be an advert. I mean, yes, I like the adverts when you watch them, but I don't like watching them skip, skip ads. Um, yes, this one, I don't do any, oh, I've got rid of that sofa now. You'll be seeing a new sofa, hopefully early next year, when, I cho when I've chosen it was sick of it. It was inherited. So it was, yeah, that's 10 years ago, that sofa, and it was old when we got it. Um, so it's gone. So I, I, I just did it mute, because at the time there was other vacuum channels, and they never spoke, and I thought, oh, is that, is that what you're supposed to do? There's a couple I can think of that they just didn't speak. And I thought, oh, well, that must be, that must be what vacuum, oh, is that my Rupert? Oh, it is. Dog in the background. He died only four years old. Um, so I'm just muting this. But obviously I started talking and then he couldn't shut me up. So I don't know which is best, me being mute or doodah. I don't know, I think I might still have that one. I don't know. I did sell a few. But that'll be one of the um, high wattage machines. Now I think the one I've, I think I, think I sold that, but I, I bought it again, but it was one of the lower wattage. They're definitely more powerful, you know, those 2,000 plus watt SIBOs. They were certainly more suction than the ones uh, they do now. So that, that machine's been out over 10 years. Yeah, it's quite a big machine, but uh, it's, you know, a rugged cleaner. Right, let's get back to your commentings. Da -da -da -da. Right, so I'm going back, going back ages here. Stop making a noise, Daisy May. Uh, yes, I have the Henry Hound. I've got two of them. If you mean the green one. What's the capacity of Henry Quick? I'm not sure. It's over a litre. Anyway, I'm on the same dust bag and it's been nearly a month. Foxy the Tract Man is looking for Eureka like my grandma and my create grandma. I think I mean great. Uh, I think you ran it in a video. I don't think I did. Unless it was an Electrolux. But it would have been branded Eureka in the United States. Nathan's got the Super Mario Lego. Do I have a PS5? Um, oh, I think I do. Yes, I've got... Yes, I think I've got a PS5. Is that quite a newish one? Yes, I bought I bought it and tried to play Grand Theft Auto and couldn't get past the demo stage, so I just boxed it up. No, keep meaning to sell that. No, uh, it's too complicated for me. You know, I, Sonic the Hedgehog is about my limit, really. And Streets of Rage and all the old uh, Sega games from the 90s. Oh, there's one on eBay now, is there? Is that a, a satellite? Mm -hmm. Wishy wash, my Mila complete C3 is six years old and doesn't sound good, nor does a good job at cleaning. Well, you wouldn't at six. The Mila aren't as good as they used to be. Oh, I've done that one. Do do do. What? 
What is a pneumatic that blew up? I don't think I had a pneumatic that blew up. Pretty sure I haven't. The tech is world. Hi, Roger. First time I've been able to tune into a live. What US, what USA vacuum would you say you'd love to own but don't already? Um, oh, well, I've been lucky enough to get most of the ones I wanted. Um, well, I'd quite like a, a, probably a Dimension or a Spectrum. A Dimension would be nice. Um, When I got a Hoover Z, I was watching that video. Um, that was supposed to come to the UK. I remember showing in the video that it actually had a recess for a UK three pin plug in the compartment, you know, where the tools and the mains cable are stored. That we were supposed to get that under the Maytag brand and then I think Maytag sold Hoover or something, but so we never got it. We just got a few Maytag uprights and the satellite. Um, yeah, the concept one was always, um, I was really pleased to get the concept too. I wouldn't mind, I think it was pretty bad. Um, I quite like the, is it the wind tunnel that had the dual agitator? Was it the wind tunnel V2? I don't think it was a good machine, but I quite like the look of that. And um, the Savvy. The fairly recent-ish ones. But I think I've got most of the older ones I wanted. You know, I've got some celebrities, American celebrities with Powerhead, which I was pleased to get. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> Every time I stop to answer a question, I lose um, the doodah, folks. So when I go quiet, it's because I'm... Scrolling back down. Right, okay, found that. Um, I do have some Lego trains. Well, only only one. Not the very latest one, but the one before that. Never assembled them. When is the next American 120 volts vacuum? Um, that will be on Thanksgiving. There'll be another American vacuum. And I expect there'll be a, a couple of toy vacuums possibly coming up in December. What's my favourite vacuum of the 90s? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the Turbo Power 2 and 3s. Turbo Power 1000. Hoover by the 90s. Whoops, we're starting to get a bit... A bit pants, you know. The the heyday had gone by the nineties, but the Toro Power Three was still a good machine. Mm -hmm. Well, Kathy, my loft. Well, it's not my loft; it's my mum's loft, but. I did do it out. I put the carpet down and everything. Yes, I could. Uh, it's so cosy. Yes, I could. Uh, I could get people in. I could get people to rent it. Well, at the moment, we're getting a lot of illegal immigrants coming into the UK. So I suppose, you know, we could put put about five up there. But I don't think I'd want to. Dee -dee -dee. Well, yes, Maytag do, well, Maytag even had vacuums in the USA under the Maytag brand, but we had them in the UK because we couldn't, they were, it was at the time when Maytag and Hoover were the same, you know, Maytag owned Hoover or I think it was Maytag that owned Hoover or vice versa. So we got a few Maytag machines, branded machines, because they couldn't be branded Hoover in the UK because Hoover in the UK was a different company now to Hoover in America. They used to be the same company. Hoover in the UK used to be owned by Hoover in America. But when um, Hoover in America sold off Hoover UK after the free flights fiasco and Candy bought them, um, so, you know, we can't have... So we do get some Hoover products in the UK now, but under the Vax name. So that's why when you see a Vax and people say they copied the Hoover so-and-so, it's not a copy 
it is the same, it's just a different brand name. Um, because Vax and Hoover are owned by TTI, Vax and Hoover USA are owned by TTI. Oh, somebody been saying bad words in the Thuda. Do I have a Samsung Quiet Jet? No, that got sold. Somebody else is owning that one. Wasn't quiet at all. What made uh, what made Tiny Todger? I'm so sorry to hear that. What made you do a live on this channel rather than bits and doings? Because, well, I've done one on bits and doings this week, and I thought I'd do one on this. And and when I do bits and doings, I get asked about vacuums anyway. So I thought, well, I'll go on this channel. And then it's okay for folk to ask about vacuums. That's my old house that uh, on those stairs. Have I seen the new Dyson Ball vacuums? Do you mean the the ones that are just the same but with a different colour bit on them? Yes. They seem to be out of stock most of the time. Mm -hmm. Have I got any new, more pneumatics to show? I'll always have more pneumatics to show. Yes, of course. I've got uh, another cordless one, not a stick. Another, I've not, another cordless tub to show. I've got different hetties to show. Um, another type of Henry. Oh, there'll always be pneumatics cropping up, but they're all very similar, aren't they? What's the worst Dyson cleaner I've owned? Ooh, take your pick. Um, well, one that I owned from brand new that I kept for about two days. I think it's a DC 33 or 27. And I got rid of that purely because the noise level was just absolutely ridiculous. So I um, got rid, probably picked up quite well. Oh, look, Lego. They must have been listening. Can't believe like, they're showing that. <laughs> you get spied on all the time, you see, folks. You get spied on. It's interesting to see what advertisers they get on my channel. Right. Um, hello from, G hello, Mr. Ruini Fan. Ruini Fan from Northern Germany. Uh, Lee's back, so I don't know why. The answer is probably no, but I'm quite good with editing skills and could be helping. No, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, Lee's Vax, but I'm quite happy to edit my own videos. I'm a one man band. I film, I edit. Um, I quite like editing videos. It takes a long time, but I enjoy doing it, so. So you must think I'm no good at it, Lee, if you want to do it for me. Uh, would I do a video between... I'm sure I've done a video, haven't I? I've shown you... Well, I did a... Um, I'm sure I did a suction test anyway on the 2006 Henry, Henry compared to a 620 watt and the SE... 2006 one, I think it went to about 110 on the gauge as opposed to 80 for the regular. Daisy is not a brat, Connor Bevans. She's just, she just wants her, she wants her Roger with her, that's all. She's next to me now, look. she's She feels safe when I'm next to her. She's not as bad at home. She's worse when she's here, but um, at home she's fine. What am I opening there? Some SIBO or other. The best vacuum cleaner doesn't speak because I despise the sound of my voice, mainly because I have a strong Bristolian accent. Well, why can't you just put on an accent, you know? Fake an accent, you know? To, you know, videos with speech on I know there's quite a lot of videos where you don't, there's no speaking. I mean, maybe some people who can't speak English, 
there's quite a lot of those and you can sort of get the gist but um as long as you don't go on as much as I do in videos, it's more interesting if you're talking. Just go, just go for it, you know. If you get any nasty comments, just tell them to um, <clears throat> go away. Uh, I've answered this many times. My favourite Dyson is the... Uh, the original ball, the DC-15, which I still have a new one of those. Yes, I have the DC-01 new in the box. I've got, I think it's a DC-04. I've still got the Zorbster. That's like Rick Hoover, wind tunnel, V2, dual V. I like the idea of that, but I understand it wasn't very reliable. What vintage Bissell would I like to own? That don't really think I'd like any of them, to be honest. Um, maybe that early lift-off thing they did, the earliest one, possibly. Don't, we didn't get that in the UK, I don't think. I'm not sure. I wouldn't have been interested in it if we did back, back then. Uh, da -da -da. Why do I feel like this is a fake live? Well, I'm not sure why you feel it's fake I'm answering you now, Daniel, so how can it be fake? I'm here, look, I'm, I'm alive, this is my hand, look. Um, I don't know how else I can prove it to you. Um, I'm not sure how you do a fake live video, really, but um, who knows? Crikey, do you think this, this was edited? I'd be sat like this, moving up and down like that. Now this is this is Ibisiac in the raw. Dodge fan, you obviously didn't see when I was when I switched on the main Maytag wind tunnel earlier on. So yes, I do still have it. No, I don't have the Kirby tradition anymore. Vacuum Central. In fact, I don't have any Kirby's. Is that correct? And that's correct. No Kirby's left. All gone. Is Pneumatic going to bring the Henry Quick to Canada? I assume so, because they're bringing it to the US of A. So, um, well, if you can't get it in Canada, you'll just have to pop over to the United States. Uh, pop over that wall, if there's still one there, and um, buy one in the US of A or get a USA friend to send you one. But you possibly will get it. It was leaked. The original pictures of the Henry Quick were leaked from an American trade show. So that tells me that America is certainly going to get it. So I wouldn't be surprised if Canada gets it. What are you watching, YouTube channel? What? Roger, what are you watching YouTube channel in TV? What? Well, that's my YouTube channel. I can't put anything else on. I've made that mistake before. I've had, um, I think it was on my other channel I was doing a live and uh, I, was, I had the TV on and it detected that I had copyrighted con content and it took my stream down. I'm surprised I haven't taken my own stream down because this is my content, but oh, it should be all right. It's me watching my own content. Oh, you shouldn't. Well, you're not supposed to. That's the thing. I can do it here because I'm not logged in. And it's my mum's. So I can't watch my own content normally. I just watch it once, as I've said. I watch it once before it goes up on YouTube. It's private. I watch it on my telly just to check. I've not left any swears in or anything. 
What's the quietest cleaner you've owned? Well, I've showed that, uh, Connor. Um, it was an AEG, I can't remember the model, but there was an AEG on my channel, a blue color one, similar to the blue of that Mila. That's very quiet. I've also got, which I don't know if I've shown properly, there is a Hoover one that is also very quiet. I think the AEG was the quietest. Very, very quiet, could barely hear it until you put the turbo nozzle on and then it was really loud but um yeah you could just basically just heard the uh airflow what are my thoughts on rx well they're light easy to push they're okay for whipping round, but the one i've got is very noisy do i think dyson's are the most artistic looking vacuums on the market no i don't like the look of them at all I don't think any bagless cleaner looks very attractive, especially after you've used them. Because you've got all your dirt on show. And then, of course, after a few uses, the nice clear bins go all cloudy. No, I prefer the looks of a bagged cleaner because it keeps all that filthy dirt inside, like that Milo on the screen now. Do I, have, do I still have the Hoover Tempo and the Hoover Self-Propelled? Yes, yes. I do. Teresa says, given that QVC is selling pneumatics in the US, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the quicks show up. I keep stalking the website to see if they pop up. Just be careful, Roger. A copyright troll can try and claim your own video as their content. Don't, well, I've not had it happen to me. I, I had to, well now, well in the old days, some there was people copying my videos and you had to report each and every one separately and you had to sign this online form and, you know, swear it was true. Now, I go into my um, content manager and it tells me if anyone's copied any part of my video and I've had to take a video down this week and it was from some Spanish person, but he'd copied a, a bit of a chunk of one of my videos, even had Ibasic on it. So I had that taken down and then I got an email from him pleading, oh, I didn't know, oh, blah, blah, blah. So I've just, can I retract it? And I didn't because I looked in, looked at retracting it, but it was too much trouble. And I thought, no, he knows he's done wrong because he's worried because all his videos seem to be just compilations of other people's work and he's voiced over them. So he knows that that's wrong because he's worried that his channel's going to get taken down because he's got one strike for me. And if you get three strikes, you get taken down. So um, so I left it. But yeah, it, it doesn't happen so much now. But YouTube always tell me I don't have to be, I don't get, you know, I used to get told by people or I used to occasionally find out somebody's copied my video. But now... You, you know, the YouTube can actually, it knows if it's yours and it, you know, they tell me. Sometimes I let it go past. There was this one person who's doing a live stream and she was talking about vacuums and happened to show a bit of my video on it. So I left that, you know, I'm not going to take everything down. There's, there's somewhere, obviously a, a, a child or someone very young has copied a bit and they probably don't know they've done any wrong. So I will leave it, but it's not fair when your stuff's getting copied you've done the work and then someone else and it's especially when they put your videos up and then they put lots of links to try and make money from your video so then they do get taken down uh -huh. joey says um are you going to get the new oric discover no oric aren't for brand in the uk anymore they're no they don't exist as far as i know they might still have a website, but there's nothing to buy on it. You don't see OX anymore in the UK. And I'm certainly not going to spend money importing one from America. That's right. You're correct. The Elfin Knight. It's the AEG VX8 Silence Pet Pro. I've not tried the OREC Magnesium. What's the loudest vacuum I've ever used? Well, that Maytag I turned on is pretty noisy. But I think it was the Dyson DC-27. 
Did I ever think of buying any pneumatics in the 80s or 90s? No, I was just into Hoover at the time. They barely registered on my radar. What Hoover cleaner do I think is the most handsome? Well, the Hoover, it's a pretty poor machine, but the Hoover Free Motion is a canister vacuum. That is very attractive, very sleek and modern. So that's a, that's um, a canister what, upright. I don't know. Uh, I could probably think of, I, I can't really think at the moment. The cleaner that's on telly now, that's pretty ugly. Um, do I have my mum's vacuum cleaner? No, it's my mum's. Um, my mum's never bought a vacuum of her own since the 90s. <laughs> I've always supplied her with vacuum cleaners. Yes, Techies World is um, confirming about the Oryx. Probably not, probably not showing up again in the UK. I mean, we had, you know, they were available for quite a while, but now seem to have gone. Louise, about my mum is elderly, needs a decent easy vacuum for quick cleans. Nothing top heavy, as there are makes. Would you recommend the G-Tech? Well, yes, if the G-Tech ARAM is very easy to push. It's not a bad machine, as far as I remember. It's certainly very, you know, it weighs nothing in the hand. So if that's the main um, requirement, that it has to be light and easy to push, yeah, then yes, the um, air ram would be. When did I buy, buy my first pneumatic? Mm, don't know, it was... Um, Probably before I had a YouTube channel, so it's more than 10 years ago. Um, it would have been an autosave one, I suspect. Maybe 15 years ago. It had that old packaging on, you know, with the sort of cartoony um, pictures on the box. Have I been to Walmart before? No, I've only been to America once and I don't remember a Walmart. You're wrong there, Rick Hoover. Asda is no longer owned by Walmart. They sold it maybe a couple of years ago. I think um, Walmart still have a little stake in as the, you know, they still have a small share, but they're not owned by Walmart anymore. They were bought out. They saw, well, they sold it. The Walmart sold Asda. I think you get George clothing in um, Walmart. That, that came from the UK. Um, the, the George clothing brand was a, you know, I think you get that. Um, evening, Mark Forrest. I have been in some American stores. I've been in a Bed Bath & Beyond and did see, this is in the early 2000s, I did see, or the late 90s, I almost bought um, a Hoover Twist, is it a Twist & Vac? Like the Brush Vac, but with the nozzle that twisted. But it probably would have been a lot of my spending money and I couldn't have used it at home. I didn't know about step down transformers and stuff back then. Um, so yes, I went in Bed Bath and Beyond and, and a Walgreens to buy some sandwiches to eat in the hotel. Um, and there was another clothing store with America in the title. I think I bought a t-shirt. We went to a mall in Florida didn't, didn't, didn't seem to be many vacuums available. I, I don't remember seeing one sort of electrical shop where I was staying anyway. Mm. 
what kind of all automotive wax is good for cleaning up a vacuum's exterior? Well, I always tea cut first, which um, is a very good thing to do. Um, test the inconspicuous area first, if you're not sure. Anything, auto, glim, uh, there's a polish called uh, by a company called Poor Boys. Um, yeah, but auto glim poor, or poor boys is what I use for a final polish. Uh, I don't know vintage fan if it was the same model as the 06 Henry. Might have been, not sure. Do you get great value in the UK? Well, if that's a, a name of a store, then no. Twist and Vac, that's right, Rick. The auto safe Henry's first came out in November 2008, so if it was an auto safe. Well, that sounds about right, I think, yes. I know I was living in the previous house that I live, to, live in now, and I've lived in the house I'm living in now, I think over 12 years. And I had it uh, in the old house. What what house am I unboxing that in? I think that, that S8 is being unboxed in the house I live in now that's on the telly. That'll be a higher wattage one. Oh, 2,200 watts. Terrible EU messing about with our vacuums. We're supposed to be out of the EU, but we still have the low powered vacuums. Well, Teresa, I was in Florida, a vegetarian in Florida. There was not a lot I could eat. I had to stock up on, on food. It was a hotel on International Drive in Orlando. And I had to, we, it was hotel room and you got breakfast included. So I had to eat as much as I could for breakfast, which included things like donuts. I couldn't get over that they were serving donuts at breakfast. I think I had scrambled egg and things like that and hash browns seem to remember. But then for later on, well, the only thing I could manage to find to eat at lunchtime was a baked potato. And that was at Disney World Animal Kingdom, I think. So we had to go to Walgreens and buy crisps or what did he call them over there? Fries? No, not chips. No, that's right. You call them chips and sandwiches and candy to it and drinks to eat in the hotel room that was a long time ago there was a video on bits and doings actually of a bit of that holiday in uh, florida yes they did uh, we did dodge fan we did get um, a, a, a maytag version of the twin chamber bagless yes we did it was i think it was sort of a gray color I never got one of those. And we got, as you might have seen on my channel, the Caddy Vac. Yes, yeah, so we got the Caddy Vac. We got the um, wind tunnel. And we did get the twin chamber bagless and the satellite. And as I said earlier, we were supposed to be getting the Z. But we never did. What's the most quirky machine you own? I've got a lot of quirky ones. I was watching a quirky one on my channel. And again, it's the Vax VX2, I think it is. And I was just, and I, I've got it up in the loft here. I'm a, and I thought, well, I'll have a look at that video because I haven't seen it for ages. And that is very quirky. Uh, Hoover the One pet, that's quite quirky. They're quirky, but they're pretty poor machines, you know. The quirky, I don't think I've got a quirky vacuum that is a very good vacuum at performing. Most of the vacuums that perform well are pretty boring looking. Um, probably, I can probably think of others, but um, not off the top of my head. Anyone, if anyone can name some quirky vacuums in the comments. Chris Waldo says the only mall stores with good vacuum selection display were Sears, Montgomery Ward and not in mall with service merchandise. Well, there may have been a Sears. I don't think you have Sears anymore. Have they gone now? Mm. 
Well, I don't like Tesco at all, Teresa. Tesco's a store. I don't like Tesco. Oh, I've got some good news. My mum told me that my mum's down south at the moment um, in Sussex or Surrey. And um, apparently where my mum lives, they're going to get a, a Marks and Spencer Simply Food store. So I was so excited. I can actually walk down and, and get some Marks and Spencer's goodies. It's not there yet, but we're getting one. So I said, oh, that's going to put a few thousand on the price of the house. But yes, um, if you come to London, Teresa, you go to M&S for your sandwich and your ready meals and your snacks and your treats. Much nicer than uh, Tesco. Uh, did you guys get the Hoover slider called a stick vac? Yes, we did. Yeah, it was a vax. I think I've had, yes, was it um, more like a tiny carpet sweeper? Because I had one of those, but that was before my channel. Yes, and I think it was silver with a translucent bit. Yeah, I've forgotten all about that, but I'm sure, yes, I did have it. If it's the one, if that's what I think, if it looked more like, a, if it just had a stick, a metal handle and a, a little, if it looked like a mini rechargeable carpet sweeper, then yes, it rings a bell. Um, oh, Teresa saying, you'll be pleased to know that the world has gotten better in terms of vegan options, including at Disney, which is pretty interesting. Well, it's not trendy to be vegan. I'm not vegan anymore. I'm vegetarian slash vegan, but I've been vegetarian all my adult life. I'm not following a a silly trend, but um, there's a lot of rubbish vegan food and vegetarian. No idea what the time is. Hello, the VAC Corner. Pam Nicola Jusson. Nicola Jusson, is it? Come to the Jersey Shore in June. We're now from New York City and have great towns and food for any taste, including a lot of vegan and vegetarian options. Well, I've, my passport has long expired, I'm afraid, and I don't think I'm allowed in the USA for other reasons, unless that's been changed. But I think your Mr. Biden doesn't want people like me there. So I won't be, I won't be coming. I've no idea. So the only difference with the bagless Maytag twin chamber was the plug oh oh well yes i think it was very like your hoover one obviously it wasn't just the plug that was different it had a different motor in because the innards were different because it was a 240 volt motor but yes as far as i've seen pictures of the hoover version of that um and yes it's more or less the same as the um the maytag one and it was I think it was still made in USA, not even Mexico. Have I shouted out VAC Corner? Can't remember. Hello. Have I sorted out? No, not yet. Vintage fan. I've still got both cream and brown Henrys. So, yes, I need to uh, fix fix them both up and keep the better one. Oh, so, yes, Sears has gone. I have seen a few videos about Sears. Watched a few... Um, American videos about the store's history, Sears and uh, Montgomery Ward and some other stores you don't have anymore. Maria, if you'd been here earlier on the stream, you'd, you'd have seen me upstairs turning on a shark cordless Stratos. So that's coming up soon. The cutest vacuum? Oh, I don't really think of any vacuums as cute. I can appreciate nice design, but I've never looked at a vacuum and thought that's cute. Oh, well, I suppose some of the tiny Dysons I've got are cute because they're tiny. You know, the little city, if you can call Dyson, any Dyson cute, but they're cute because they're small. Um, hmm. 
can't really think of uh, any other cute vacuums. I don't really look at vacuums as cute, to be honest. Chris Waldo says, now you just buy one and cross your fingers, no in-store demos. Well, that's why you can watch demos on YouTube, but that's not the same because it's not your own home. You can always buy them from somewhere that allows easy returns like QVC, because I'm sure in QVC in America, same, you get same return policy. You can use it and return it, um, which might be happening with the Sharp Stratos I got because I bought that from QVC purely because I know that I can return it on in QVC UK at 60 days. But I won't be returning it all filthy. I'll give it to them back all clean and everything if I do decide not to keep it. Well, yes, I remember as a child um, going into department stores, electrical stores, Picking up, this is long before internet, of course, picking up leaflets and brochures when I was with my mum and dad. And a, a tip, well, it's too late now, unless you've got a time machine, but I always used to open up the dishwashers and washing machines because often there'd be stacks of leaflets in there, including some not really meant for customers, you know, leaflets for the salespeople. So I uh, used to sort of swipe them innocently with the other leaflets. Never got questioned about it, but if anyone had said anything, I'd have said, oh, I'm sorry, I thought they were for customers. Now oh, the Hoover Nano Light. Mm, I think we got that as a Vax. Oh, I sold that Hello Kitty vacuum, Teresa. Wasn't really, I'd, I've got loads of toy vacuums, but I prefer the ones that look like the real thing, you know. I don't think of them as toys, I think of them as um, scale models of the real thing. Well, it's not that long ago since I've done a Mila, um, or Vax, or Hoover. Well, I don't know what channel you're watching, Tyler. I haven't done many Dysons, but I don't buy them. And you can't buy Dyson cylinder cleaners in the UK. Well, you might still be able to get them, but if you go on Dyson's website, they don't do them anymore. Last time I checked. And I don't want their uprights because they're just revamps of what I've already had. They're nothing um, new. Which Dyson cleaner do you think is the most effective? Oh, none of them. I don't know. They claim that the latest one is, but um, I don't know, I'm not keen on, you know, maybe you've not watched my channel long. I'm not that keen on Dyson. The cleaners and the man. Um, how many Argos catalogues do you have? And what's the oldest one? I don't know. I've got a few, but not very old. Um, I don't know how many I've got, no, not more than probably 10. Um, and they're not, they're, no, they're not old at all. I've got some other big mail order catalogues, but again, they're not very old. Sort of um, early 2000s. Might have some late 90s ones, I don't know. What's the vacuum you've had in your collection the longest? Um, well, it's probably, it's either a Hoover Dirt Searcher exclusive, because um, that's that never got sold because it was always in bits and I never got around to sort of fixing it at the time. And poss I possibly got an old Hoover Dustet Model 100 that's pretty old. You see, most of my original collection got sold over the years I've managed to buy them back there's some models that there's no way I'll ever get again that I had from brand new you know I just had a complete purge in the 90s and just got rid of so many 
but I had to at the time. I needed I needed the money and was running out of space. But I got, you know, I would sell them for 30, 40 pounds. You know, some models now, if I had them now, they'd go for hundreds on eBay because they're all from new and they're all kept mint condition. I could just cringe at the things I got rid of. But they're only things, I suppose. When you die, you can't take them with you. But I'm hoping when I die that I'll have access to any vacuum I want. Fingers crossed, you know. If heaven's what you make it sort of thing, I'll be going up there, up the escalator to the clouds, and then I'll be greeted by a fantastic Hoover display. And there'll be somebody saying, help yourself. There's a dirty cloud over there. Give it a good vacuuming with that lovely vintage new in the box Hoover convertible or whatever. Well, I assume I'm going up and not down. I'm not sure. I'm sure even hell needs a good vacuum, doesn't it? But it need to be one that can deal with hot ashes. What vacuum black? I don't love any. <laughs> no. Connor, I don't love any vacuum cleaners because they're things, they're just electrical appliances. I save my love for human beings. I save my love, save your love, my darling, for dogs. But as far as vacuums go, I don't love them. But let me see. I can say like. Um, I've lost your comment now. Right, so I have a a, um, a liking. I've mentioned, I've said this many times, but for modern vacuums, Sibo are the brand, the modern brand that I like the best. I was recently using a Felix again and um, thinking, yeah, it's a, an old model now, but it, it's still very, very good. And their quality, they still make quality vacuums. So yes. For a modern machine, a SIBO, and my favourites for the vintage machines will always be the Hoover brand for the old machines. Oh, there's that again. We don't want to see that uh, silly fool. Oh, I don't know where my remote's gone. I called it a remote. We don't call it a remote in this house. I can't tell you what it's called. We call this something else. It's a bit rude. My dad used to call it something else, you see. But because I've got viewers, I better call it a remote. What's down there? Oh, look, there's that uh, Samsung Jet. That's gone. Well, there's the AG. That's sold. That Panasonic Ecomax. That's sold. I've still got hundreds, though. Oh, I've got that Hoover Celebrity. That's lovely. Still got that and that Electrolux wide track. I've got all the most, well, not all, but most of the pneumatics. Um, I want to do a video with them all out, but it's going to be a huge undertaking i was so pleased to get that we never got a celebrity with a power head in the uk so um to be able to import these american vacuums that i you know remember seeing i think i saw that um i think I, you know this is odd american shows you see these cleaners on i remember seeing a hoover concept 2 on an episode of dynasty when the maid, who was very pally with, um, what was his name? Oh, uh, Blake. She was vacuuming his bedroom with a Hoover Concept 2. The one with a sort of, it was cream with a sort of brown, um, not brown, russet colour helpmate on the front, that model. And I remember cleaning that and um, she stopped vacuuming to talk to Blake. And uh, well, I also got a load of American Hoover leaflets sent to me um, from Hoover UK, but they got them from Hoover USA. This is when they were part of the same company. And um, in the late 80s, they sent me a whole pile of these American vacuums. So that's how I got to find out about, you know, the, the dimension and the concept twos and the elites, all those 90s, late 80s, early 90s cleaners. Well, it must have been all, yeah, it was before the 90s. They were all late 80s. 
and even Hoover Central vacuums have got leaflets on those. Um, and of course, there's no chance of getting them. I think I remember seeing the Concept 2 electronic. Never thought I'd ever be able to own one, you know. This is before the internet, of course. Um, before you could just, you know, more or less shop the world if you want. Um, do I think the Dyson laser is a complete gimmick? No, well, I did at first, but since I used that V12 for vacuum of the month, it does work. Um, even, you know, not in very, very bright light, but in normal light levels, it does actually highlight bits you can't necessarily see. But it also shows that it doesn't pick them all up every time. Because sometimes I've gone over an area and it's it hasn't removed it. But um, I, I, the most gimmicky thing is the dirt detect. I said in the video, showing the dirt site the size of dirt particles on that silly graph. I mean, that could be anything. I mean, who's who's going to look at that? Or oh, is so pleased to get that as well, that vacuum and that one. Um, nobody looks at it. When I was using it for the whole month, you never look at that dirt particle display thing. That is pure gimmicky. But, you know, they show it on the adverts and people think, oh, that's good, and they fall for it and they buy it. But you don't. You don't look at it. Who's, who, who needs to know the size particles of what you're picking up? I mean, what, what use is it, folks? What is it about Tesco you dislike? I think the quality of the food's poor. Um, or I don't like this policy of, of having different prices. So if you don't have a club card, you have to pay extra. So, well, I very rarely go in a Tesco. And I've had some Tesco food and it's... No... I'm afraid I'm I'm just sort of, I used to shop at Asda a lot, which Asda is even better than Tesco, but I'm afraid it's more or less M&S for me nowadays. I thought if, you, if, you know, if you're going to be broke, you might as well be eating well. Um, we hardly have any Bissell, uh, I think we did get some sort of Bissell power force. Not sure if we've got a bagless. Can't remember. Bissell don't really do vacuums in the UK anymore. I'm showing, going to show a Bissell canister with a power head coming up. But that now is even discontinued. So I think the only mains powered Bissell vacuum is one of the Featherlight things. Because Bissell are more known for carpet washers in the UK. They don't really make very many vacuums. I had a Bissell Momentum once. It's quite a good vacuum. There were there there were around um, Bissells. I've had a few on my channel, but now they just seem to concentrate on carpet washers for the UK. Are there any elite style Hoovers you'd like to have in the UK? Well, probably, but we got we got a few. I mean, what a Turbo Light, which is an elite. I think it was an elite two hundred, a really basic elite. And then I've got um, a Hoover commercial cleaner with the hose on the side, which I think was like a legacy. But yes, I expect there's some that would have liked to own, but. It's unlikely, well, I don't think, I'm not sure if Hoover even make them now, do they? But Hoover in the US are the same as Hoover in the UK. They're nowhere near as good as they used to be, are they? So not so interested in anything m modern coming from any Hoover company. I mean, I've had the odd newer Hoover, but don't uh, don't care for them. I might be doing Advent videos, I mentioned earlier in this stream. I'm certainly doing them on Roger's Bits and Doings. I'm planning something on iBasic Advent videos, but I'm planning. It doesn't mean to say I'll do them. No, Leon, the vacuums won't be at the tip. Well, if I don't die suddenly, if I don't die of sudden adult death syndrome, if I stay alive 
until you know start getting old and doddery obviously i'm going i'm upping the selling of my vacuums i'm going to start selling more and more keeping the classics definitely going forward i'm just going to buy new vacuums to show on the channel demonstrate and then sell them on quickly but as i get older and older more and more vacuums will go and, and i'll be left with a very small number because i don't want anyone having to clear out but if i die tonight in my sleep then somebody's got a big job in the hands i'm afraid <laughs> hopefully i'll survive them until the morning let's hope i'm not a big fan of dyson because of what he did to my precious hoover company back in the day and he's a smug so and so very easy to get to uh, you know, get the lawyers in if someone copy, dares to copy a bit of his vacuums. And he's not, if you look on Dyson, if you're in the UK and you go on Facebook and Dyson puts something up on their Facebook, you should see all the negative comments from people saying they're never going to buy a Dyson. And it's mainly political reasons um, for them. I mean, Dyson himself hurt me very personally, you know. Um, I'm not bothered what he does politically or has what views he has, but a lot of people are bothered that he shipped all his production from the UK. Um, there's other reasons as well, which I won't go into at this stage. Uh, would you object to being buried or cremated with Hoover Jr? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't object to it because I'd be dead, Chris Waldo. But um, I can think of better vacuums to be buried with. Hoover Jr is a bit common. Um, Sean A eight oh six. If you could have any brand of vintage appliances for North America, what they would it be? Well, I don't know about all your brands, and. Apart from Hoover, obviously, which is an American brand. Um, no, we do get... We get Well, Ricard, maybe. We've never had Ricard. Don't know what they're like now. Um, we do get a lot of American brand stuff anyway, you know, KitchenAid and whatever. Uh, but we don't get the American washers, you know, those big top loaders. They're just not... I mean, we did get some. We got a Maytag one. I think there's a Whirlpool. And I think you can get a couple in this country, those top loading. But, you know, they are extremely rare in this country. People have front loading machines in the UK. Well, Rick, if you're in America, I'm sure if I can get a Concept2 electronic on eBay it must be easier for you because not everyone selling on eBay America um, will ship to the UK just have to keep you have to be on eBay all the time just checking every day you know sometimes something will pop up as a buy it now and I've often done that I've seen something I thought crikey that's I want that and then I've gone on it and I've seen it's not an auction it's a buy it now and before I've even read the uh, listing, I've bought it, but you have to be there. You know, it's just a question of being in the right place at the right time. Um, da -da -da -da, quick, keep losing space, place. No, they don't sell Panasonic vacuums in the UK anymore. The vacuum I'm using for day to day, if you're not clearly, Tyler, you don't watch my channel much. My vacuum of the month is the Henry Quick, but that will be changing on the 1st of November to another vacuum. I'm not really sure what American... I'm after another Hoover Futura. Do you remember that one that was had a big hole in it? I just really... Well, I really just want the um, that part that's broken. I can't find it. I've been looking for one that's a bit battered just for just for that part of the vacuum that has the hole in it that covers the motor that part 
because apart from that, it was in such good condition that it was so disappointing when I opened it and it had a big hole in it, that green one. Um, so yes, one of those, and maybe the Sensatronic you got, I think it was just called Hoover Electronic 1000. I suppose it's just like our Hoover System 3, but you did have that uh, better power head on it. I think that'll be very rare. And all oh, uh, Hoover Innovation, which was our Turbo Master. But again, I'm probably naming a lot of pretty rare machines. I'd love, I'd love all the Hoover cleaners featured in that Jerry Lewis film, um, Who's Minding the Store. If you haven't seen that, folks, and you like your vacuums, you go and watch that. Um, just for the the scene when Jerry Lewis is playing an appliance salesman, and it's clearly product placement for Hoover. It's Hoover that, you know, you see big Hoover signs, lots of Hoover cleaners in the background and the main comic sketch, comedic sketch, features a Hoover convertible and uh, he uh, rewires it to try and fix it for this posh lady and uh, ends up sucking up half the store. It's very funny. You must look for it. Jerry Lewis, who's minding the store, folks? Um, best cordless vacuum for pet hair? Um, I don't know. Shark are claiming their Stratos is, and I've just got one. Well, Tyler, I might be using a Vax's vacuum of the month. I, I had chosen next month's vacuum of the month. Um, but I'm having second thoughts about it for one particular reason. So, yes, there is a Vax that I might. So if I do choose the Vax, you'll see it on the 1st of November, and I'll actually be unboxing it in the Vacuum of the Month video. So I'll, I'll be telling you about the Henry Quick I'm using, and then I'll be unboxing November's Vacuum of the Month, and it possibly could be a Vax. I've got to choose something that's in this house, you see. Um, and I was going to do a vintage one, but um, for some reason I couldn't. So I might do a vintage one for December. So you'll have to wait until uh, the 1st of November and you'll see what I'll be using. How many vacuums do I have in total? I've no idea anymore. I haven't, I've lost count. In the high 200s. It's not about how many. I'm trying to sell as many as I can, really. I don't don't really think it's a, a good thing to have so many. Da, 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 da. What do I think of Mrs. Doubtfire's vacuums? as awesome vacuums. Well, it was a Hoover Elite, wasn't it? And Mrs. Doubtfire was using it wrong. I think uh, she had the hose connected and using it in upright mode that's the type that was the type of um, elite that had the hose on board but you had to plug it in didn't you you had to lift up the flap and plug it in but when you're using it as an upright you were supposed to take it off but yes she was using it as an upright with the hose it was a shambles um i hope they got a lot of complaints about that I'm sure nobody else, uh, well, normal people. Oh, look at that lovely, oh, look at it. So nice revisiting. I mean, I've still got it, but the way it's, it, it is, I know where it is, but it's, it's right at the back of somewhere and it'd been moving loads of stuff out. That's the point, you see, that's why I want to sell a lot because I just want to keep the ones that I really like. And that's, you know, that's certainly one that would not be going in a hurry. What time is it in the UK now? Oh, I don't know. No idea. Um, crikey, it's quarter past 11 at night. Uh, would I do a collaboration with another vacuum YouTuber? I doubt it. 
No. I'm a one-man band, I'm afraid. And I've been let down by other vacuum YouTubers in the past, so I tend to sort of keep away from the community, you know, the co I don't join any uh, forums or anything anymore. Uh, that's thanks to some nasty people. So I just, I'm sure, you know, I've got a lot of people hate me in, in the uh, the vacuum um, collectors do da, so I just keep away. Just do my own thing. Uh, what video do I think is the funniest? I don't know. I've made one today that I was laughing at, but that's not on this channel. Some of the bloopers are, I, I find quite, I chuckle at if I've seen them again. I can't really think of any. They're especially funny. Um, yes, vintage fan, I do have the Electrox 2020 Super Boost. It's somewhere in this house, I think. It's in the, in, I think it's in the attic here, I think. Or it's in my storage unit. I've mentioned before, Michael Stinson, I may be doing the Advent videos on this channel. I'm planning them, but whether I can get to do them is another matter. Oh, Teresa, if you're talking about that goblin that I couldn't push, yes, I just gave it away. I thought I can't even sell that one. So I did a quick Instagram competition and somebody won it and didn't, <laughs> somebody won it and then they didn't want it. So I think the second person I, I yeah, got it, um, I just sent it to them. I thought um, I'd be too embarrassed to sell it. I've just sold a vacuum today, actually. A, sh um, a shark... Uh, the powered lift away cordless one that's just been sold today and it's uh, being collected tomorrow but it's only one i really need to get uh, a lot more sold if uh, i could make a vacuum what type of features would i give it i don't know i'd want it to be very very quiet it remains powered and bagged high filtration whisper quiet I mean, they're all features that uh, I can't think of any new features. I think an auto sense type thing is a good idea um, where it detects the dirt and increases like Shark Stratos does. You know, it's not a new idea, but Hoover did that. And but one that actually, yes, will has a display that shows that there's more dirt and it will boost up the power. It would have to have brushed edge cleaning. Um, a hose on board, obviously, that reaches right up to the top of the stairs without toppling over. Self-propelled. Um, hygienic bag ejector system that the bag seals the top. I mean, these are all features you can get now, but I'm thinking about in just in one machine. So, yeah, the, the bag seals automatically and then you press a button and it ejects into the bin somehow, you know, comes off without you going near the dirt. Um, yes, a, a, a nice bright headlight. And I suppose, I don't know how it would work, but I would like an upright with, with a hose that reaches up to the top of the stairs, but you could also put a electrically powered tool on the end. I'm not sure how that would work with a stretch hose. I mean, yeah, but sharp powered lift ways do have a slightly stretch hose, but I'm talking about a stair cleaning stretch hose. I mean, the Sebo X series are good, but pretty old. I, I would sort of just update the X series with more modern styling, quieter, bigger, bigger wheels at the back, the ability to turn off the brush roll. Um, and, you know, dirt sensing feature. Um, 
Greggle's Magic. It sold how Dyson sued Hoover over design, but Dyson copied Shark's roller brush. Dyson seems to be a bit hypocritical. Well, I've seen so many shark copies coming out. Um, and there's a new Bissell floor washer I've seen that looks very like a Tinko. So they all seem to be copying each other. At least Sibo aren't doing any copying. Um, I don't think there's any Miele don't really seem to copy. But I mean, Shark is successful, whether you like them or not. They are the most popular selling vacuum brand in the UK. And I'm sure they're pretty popular in America. Um, so they're popular with the general consumers, not necessarily with collectors. Uh, but you can see, you know, it's really obvious, some real, very similar shark looking. Hoover have just brought one out in the UK that is just so like a shark. I'm surprised shark aren't onto their lawyers. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't have powered lift away. It's like a shark from a few years ago as is the VacMaster Captura that I've shown you upstairs, the bagged one. It's basically like a bagged shark from five years ago or so. So the other manufacturers know shark are popular and they're trying to copy them so they can sell vacuums. So whatever you say about shark, they do innovate um, a lot more than some of the companies. Although, I, you know, I like SIBO as a brand they don't tend to bring out new models every two minutes and say, oh, you must get this. I would like to see some a new SIBO upright and a new cylinder at some point. They do need to inject a bit of newness. I mean, there is a SIBO called this upright out coming soon. So uh, a dirty fan called this upright. I'd rather have a, uh, I'd rather have a SIBO though than a shark if I you know if I had to choose definitely and when you've handled as handled as many vacuums as I have you can appreciate a quality made vacuum KitchenAid or Kenwood Chef well I would say Kenwood Chef I'm from the UK but a vintage Kenwood Chef not a Chinese made one my mum has a Kenwood Chef in this kitchen. She's had many years and she's had she's had a Kenwood Chef since the 70s. Hoover Sovereign, well yes, that's very rare over there. Not rare over here, obviously the Hoover Sovereign was just the turbo power. Uh, Tommy says, no, 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 when you croak it, Roger, Mark can have you cremated and then start a YouTube channel using each one of your vacuums to hoover you up off the carpet again and again and again. No, what will happen is I'll just get cremated and you'll get a skip, well, several, and just dump it all in there, all my vacuums. But I, f I have a feeling I'm going long after he's gone, I'm afraid. I just have a feeling. Uh, I haven't got any Dyson vacuums for sale at the moment. I've got no vacuums for sale at the moment. But when I do sell them, I sell them on eBay, but I only ship to the UK. And my eBay name is ibasix underscore emporium. Sean says, I actually have that 1963 RCA Whirlpool Imperial Mark, I can't, what's, I don't know what that is in Roman numerals. Is it 12? In turquoise, that's in the background of who's minding the store. Oh dear. I'm going to have to go soon. My battery's dwindling. I wasn't on full charge when I started. Roger, are you saying Henry Stick Vac Vacuum Cleaner Recharge Why Dust Bag in Bin? I'm not sure what you're talking about. It's a stick vacuum that uses a dust bag. And I'm still on the first dust bag. I've had the same dust bag in. Oh, look, there's that concept one. Oh, well, I still got that. That's one that doesn't work. Oh, why is that appearing? Um, 
I need to look at that concept one. I think it's I think it's just the mains cable needs replacing. It it it's it uh, switched on for a second and then turned off. Uh, vintage fan, don't let hate get to you, Roger. Most people are just jealous. Probably the fact you're oh, I'm not the most popular vacuum YouTuber. I'm not. I'm probably the one with the with a passion for vacuums. I mean, everyone who's got a YouTube channel, well, not everyone, but a lot of people who put vacuum videos on YouTube have a certain passion, but I'm sure there's some that are in it for the money. Um, I've probably got the biggest, I'm probably the biggest in the UK anyway. But it's, I couldn't believe it when I got to 100 subs and then 1,000, I thought, crikey. I don't even know how many I've got now. I don't really look. I'll never get to a million. Well, maybe after my death I will. Awesome Vacuum says, Mrs. Doubtfire's vacuum was a Hoover Elite 2, total system performance 430. Do I like hi-fi and audio products? Well, oh, that's my mum's rubbishy thing. <laughs> well, I did have a lot of big hi-fi, Technics hi-fi. I had a quite early to get a compact disc player. I think my first compact disc player was a Philips. I had a couple of Philips ones and hi-fi separates. Um, but now they're just not... You know, I, I, I just have little speakers and I stream stuff. I mean, I still have CDs, but I tend to just sort of buy CDs and then burn them onto um, my Mac and then put them on my iPod. Yes, I've still got iPods. Um, but a lot of the time, I just um, stream music onto my um, Apple HomePod mini speakers around the house. I always still buy CDs. Oh, look, there's a Henry. Um, have I ever heard of the new Bee Life stick that looks, that's been released, looks so much like a Dyson? No, not seen that. But there's so many odd brand vacuums, especially if you go on e uh, Amazon. Would I ever get an Electrolux the Boss filter air, filter air bag up right? No, I probably wouldn't. Uh, no, I don't think we got, I think, oh, we got a few Sanitaire. They might have been branded Electrolux Sanitaire. We did get a, a very small number, but I think they were mainly in the commercial line. Well, there's nothing on my eBay site, Lisa. I tend to, I didn't this time, but if you follow me on Facebook, I always tend to put a link to that. on my. It'll be on my Facebook, but it's just Ibasix underscore Emporium. But there's nothing on there now because I only had one vacuum and that, that got sold um, today. So if you find my eBay selling site, you'll find there's nothing on it at the moment. Yeah. No, I've not fixed the vintage Hoover washer. It's uh, I've still got it, though. I'll have to look at that again next summer, I think. It means having to lug it in from the garage back into the kitchen. And I'm sure my other half wouldn't be too happy about that. Leon loves his hi-fis. I have a collection of four at the moment. Modern hi-fi is rubbish these days. Tinny, well, that is, but it's just for my mum to play some CDs, you know. Um, I must say, though, the Apple HomePod Minis, they for the, the size of them, they're very good. Especially if, you know, I've, I've probably got about 10 all over the house. Um, I've got some decent headphones as well. Well, I've got the Apple um, Max thing is, but I've just found out, and I don't know how true it is, folks, but those um, Bluetooth headphones aren't doing your brain any good. There's been tests. Yes, I think there's been official tests on these, on the Apple ones that it's basically like having two mobile phones clamped to the side of your head. So I've gone back to having a wired uh, headphone now because they don't give up so many EMFs. Um, I think a lot of these wireless things may not be so good for us folks. 
Oh. G asks, what general purpose vacuum currently would you recommend for the average person? Well, it, I, when you recommend a vacuum, it, you're not recommending it to the person. I used to sell appliances in an appliance shop and you have to ask the customer questions. You can't just say, yes, get that one. That's why I very seldom tell people you've got to have this one. I've been asked some advice on a vacuum for pets. And yes, I, I said, well, I do always like Sibo Felix. But I asked, what's your budget? Blah, you know, you've got to ask the questions. So I can't answer that in one, you know, sound bite. Um, I will always recommend Sibo cleaners. I don't, you know, I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I've never had anything free from Sibo, but after years and years of using vacuums, I think for a general, for the general consumer, if they want a quality vacuum that's going to last years instead of a cordless that might last two or three years, if you're lucky, if you want a vacuum that's going to last 10 years or more that can be repaired, that you can buy spares for, then a SIBO, you know, SIBO Felix is my go-to favourite upright vacuum. Um, they've just, I was looking at one on Amazon a couple of days ago, it was £270, this Felix with the rose design. All of a sudden it's gone up to 411 which is ridiculous. Um, so you've got to shop around. I mean, the price is going up and down all the time, but you can get a SIBO Felix normally for around £260, okay? My mum's SIBO Felix, it's got to be, it must be about 15 years old now. Still works. I mean, you can buy a, a, a cordless vacuum, £300, a SIBO Felix under £300. A SIBO Felix will last so much longer and pick up better than any cordless vacuum I've ever used. So that that's the vacuum I would recommend, but it's a little bit heavy for some. So it's not perfect for everyone. You know, it depends if it's the vacuum I like. It's good for me. It's good for my home, but whether it suits other people. So that's why I'm always reluctant just to just say, yes, get this just because I like it. So I'm going to go shortly, I think, folks, because uh, my battery is running out. Uh, goodbye, Connor. Thanks for watching. Oh, Lisa's found my um, eBay page. Yes, so if you've saved it, anytime I list something, it should appear, shouldn't it, on your eBay. Thank you very much, Lisa, for your £10 donation. Thanks for, thanks for saying I'm appreciated. Thank you for that. Leon is planning on reviewing a HomePod Mini soon. My oldest Hi-Fi is from 97. I've still got some Technics ones, but they're from the 80s, I think. But they, you know, they've gone out of fashion, those big Hi-Fi sets. I know this high-end Hi-Fi, you can still buy high-end Hi-Fi, can't you? Big separates thousands of pounds each. And if I had that sort of money and a, a room, a music room, then I probably would buy some very high-end uh, hi-fi systems. Well, not system, you know, separates. Mm -hmm. I don't really have any older sanitaires, so I can't uh, give really any opinion on those Dodge fan. That Electrolux that featured the wide track, I think was a sanitaire. Very like a Hoover convertible slash senior in its design. Uh, but that was sold as a professional vacuum under the Electrolux brand. So we didn't, don't really have much experience of sanitaires. Teresa says you have to get into a person's soul before you can recommend a vacuum. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Well, have a look, G. Just go on Sibo's website. I don't know if it's for you or someone you think, you know, 
I have recommended SIBO Felix and I've had comments from people who have bought a SIBO Felix and they've been really happy with it, but not everyone will be. So, you know, see if you can, it's hard to try things out in stores anymore, isn't it, nowadays? Um, see, you can go to independent stores. They would normally have a SIBO on show. John Lewis will sometimes have some SIBOs for you to look at. Um, but yes, it just depends what you're after. They're not the lightest of machines, but they're quality. Oh dear, Lisa, your my mum hates SIBO and made me sell it. Well, there's no accounting for taste. You see, that's what I'm talking about, you see. I personally really, really like them, but not everyone does, so um but I'm not I'm not you know, I'm not upset if anyone decides to buy something else. If you want to buy a Dyson, you want to buy a Vax, you know, you buy a Vax or a Dyson or whatever you want to buy, that's fine. You buy a Henry if you want a Henry. It's your money, folks. It's not my money. And, you know, although there's a few, you know, some of my videos have some Amazon affiliate links underneath. And if you buy it from that link, I'll get a little bit of money. But no, it's not, you know, I'm not going to get wealthy over it. It's just a little bit of pocket money every month from doing those. I don't really do a lot of them. If I was a bit more organised, I could possibly put links for everything underneath videos like a lot of bigger YouTubers do. But again, it just seems a bit sort of money grabbing, you know, as long as you, you know, it's just the adverts that basically that, that I get money from YouTube, the adverts, I know they're annoying, but if it wasn't for those adverts that you have to skip, I wouldn't be able to afford all these vacuums that I show you on the channel. So, whoops. Oh, I don't know if I've, hopefully you still heard all that because it, uh, I froze. I don't know if you heard all that. Right, I'm going to have to go in a minute because my battery is about to run out. I don't, Pam, anymore have an Amazon wish list to get. I used to do that mainly just at Christmas and I got some things bought, but I've nothing against people that have an Amazon wish list because I know a lot of people like to just buy a little gift as a sign of appreciation. But I always, it didn't, I don't know, it didn't sit well with me. I was very grateful for the things that people bought me, you know, in previous times when I had it. But um, I don't know. I'm not very, very happy at, t I know, I, that, I know if somebody wants to buy me something, I've bought people things from Amazon Wishlist myself on YouTube. And it's been quite a buzz seeing the mention my name. So, you know. Maybe it, one day I might do it again, but I've no plans on really doing a wish list at this time. Just just happy that people watch the videos, really. So just watch the videos, like them and comment on them, and um, that's fine. Uh, Lisa says, I have a Seabow X4 and Felix. I also have a Dyson, as I'm yet to find a proper hoover for hoovering a stair with a stair lift rail at the side. Well, there must be some sort of handheld that would be suitable, I would say, Lisa. Well, yes, the X4 and Felix aren't that good for the stairs. You need the extension hose for the X4. I have no idea, old crankman, how rare a 1960s Eureka model 550B canister is. I have no even know what it looks like. We never had that in the UK. Um, you'll have to go on some vac vacuum forums to ask that. There may be even some Eureka fan groups on Facebook who will probably be able to answer. Trumpet Monster, I can't answer. I don't, can't answer. I don't have a single favourite vacuum. If I had a pound for every time somebody asked me that, I'd have over a hundred pounds. 
Oh, Lisa's mum swears by Dyson handhelds. Well, yeah, that I've actually used my V10 with the small motorised head for stairs, and it is pretty good for that. Oh, look at that. Let's put some dirt down for poor Henry there. What's that? Oh, it's a compact Henry. That's an old video. That's my old carpet. Right, well, everyone seems to be wanting to go to bed, and I should really. Well, because I've got a, a great big cockapoo coming to visit tomorrow at nine o'clock, so I need to be up and ready to receive Monty. If you watch my other channel, watch his bits and doings. I'll be filming Monty for you. Right then, 140 minutes, that's very short, but short for me anyway. Hope you've enjoyed this little impromptu live and uh, thank you for the people that donated some money to the channel. Very much appreciated. And um, I think the next video, yes, will be on the 1st of November when I will be discussing Henry Quick and showing my vacuum of the month for November. So until then, sweet dreams and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.